rainbows, Miss Lincoln and I are going to show you a couple of phonics activities that you could do at home. The first one is a matching game. So we're going to match these pictures with the word cards. And Miss Simpkins going to show you her sounding out and blending. Right, so the first picture I'm going to choose is this one. So I've got a picture of a dog. So I need to find the first sound, which is D. So let's have a look. Right, that one's a B. This one's a D. So we've got D. choose is this one. So this is a picture of a bin. So bin begins with the letter F. So let's have a look. This one. So we've got B, I, N, bin. Next one I'm going to choose is a picture of the cat. So cat begins with K. Mm, I've got two here. posters and um, this is these are the sounds that we've been working on in the last few weeks in rainbows we've also got the sounds on the sound mats um, which are in your packs at home um, we're going to now take the word cards away and this time we're going to have a go at writing labels to go with the pictures so Miss Simpkins going to choose a picture and then have a go at sounding out that um, the word for that picture and then writing it on the whiteboard Okay, right, I think I'm going to choose this picture of the bin. So I need to think about the letter. So it's, I know it begins with B, so I need to have a little look. Make sure you take care with your B and your D, because sometimes it's quite easy to get those two confused, yeah. the way that you form them. So, you can so I've got a bird, and I know that begins with B, so I know it's this sound here, this letter. So I'm going to go down, back up and around my butt. It's bin, I. So the next letter I need to find is I. So I'm going to have a look on my sound mat here. So there we are. So we've got the I sound there. So I'm going to copy that one down. So I. And then M. Mm. So I need to look for the sound M. Mm. There we are. So we've got B, I, N, bin. Great. And then we can do the rest after. Okay. Super. Okay. okay, I hope you enjoyed that. And so like I said, it's an activity that you could do at home. If you haven't got a printer, you could always have a go at drawing the pictures and then trying to match the words up with the pictures that you have drawn. So we hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.